What's up YouTube? It's your boy Dark Chocolate DX. We got some big news. The final Civil War trailer just dropped a few hours ago. So uh I'm gonna be giving you guys my first ever reaction video right now. Yeah, wow. <laughs> okay. Okay, so there you guys have it. That's the last trailer for Civil War. Uh, they showed some stuff that we've already seen before, but they also showed quite a bit of new stuff. So basically from the trailers we've already seen, what we can tell this movie is going to be about is that the American citizens are scared out of their minds, and they want superheroes to work with the government from now on. And who better than to reason with the superheroes than Major Talbot, the guy that's been tracking the Hulk and dealing with him for years. So while he's talking to the heroes, trying to convince them to work with the government, he brings up the Jatari invasion of New York, the uh, fight with Ultron in um, Sokovia, and he also brings up Washington, D.C., which I thought was interesting because that whole situation revolved around Just Cap, also Bucky, but in terms of superheroes, Just Cap. And I don't know why... He thought like make, working with the American government would have made a difference because that situation was totally above their head. It was clear that Cap had to work alone because he couldn't trust anybody. So I, I don't think Talbot has any point in bringing that up. But anyway, it, overall it's essentially true. Since uh, the first Avengers movie, as Nick Fury stated, the world is filling up with people that can't be matched. More so than you might initially think. I mean, you got Ant-Man now. This guy was tricking technology that has disastrous potential if in the wrong hands. Uh, if you remember in the first, uh, or uh, in the Winter Soldier, that Hydra agent talks about how Project Insight was going to kill all the threats to Hydra, including Bruce Banner and Doctor Strange, a character that we've never seen in any installment of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Even in uh, Age of Ultron, in the, that beginning scene where Cap initially gets speed blitzed by Quicksilver, He's not completely baffled by the fact that there's a super, another super being in the field. He's just like, yo, we got an enhanced in the field. So, yeah, we, we got all these heroes, and now we got Spider-Man. 
So we got all this going on, Shield is gone, and there's no one to keep all these guys in check. So uh, it makes sense that, you know, the American people want this to happen. But Cap's not cool with it, Tony is, so now you got a superhero civil war on your hands. Now in the trailer, what I found noteworthy was uh, that scene towards the middle of it, where you see Black Widow fighting those guys in black, who I'm pretty sure are the same guys you see Cap fighting in the first trailer. So when I saw that, I was like, wait, is are they coming after her? Did she turn on Tony? But then I, I realized that those could just be bad guys. Uh, who? Not sure. But um, if you remember in, uh, at the end of The Winter Soldier, one of the post credit scenes is this guy talking about how Hydra and S.H.I.E.L.D. are gone now and they're both irrelevant. So maybe they work for whatever organization that was, assuming that it was an organization. Who knows? But um, yeah, I'm not sure where Black Widow stands because, you know, she's got that thing going on with Cap. So, and uh, they don't have a love interest now because obviously Widow's in love with the Hulk, but who cares? Uh, what else? What else? Uh, well, we finally got to see Spider-Man. But yo, I, honestly, I am not digging his look. When I first saw that, his suit, I just, I just got this throwback to the first cutscene from Marvel's Ultimate Alliance, the first one. He looks so CGI, it's not even funny. Like, oh my gosh, it just looks so animated and it's so obvious. Oh, man. And uh, what was going on with his eyes? If you looked at his mask, like the eyepieces, they do this like zoom thingy. So I guess it's not just like a straight thread costume. I guess Tony gave us some technological enhancements. And um, if you read the Marvel Civil War graphic novel, novel Spider-Man turns on Tony's side and goes over to Cap's side. So will that happen in this movie? We're not sure. <sighs> So uh, that's basically my two cents on the trailer. Let me know what you guys thought of it in the comments. Leave a like, you know, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll probably make a review or a reaction of the movie when it comes out after I see it. So stay tuned for that. Catch you guys later.